For the first time ever, Major League Baseball suspended a player for more than 50 games, even though he had no prior violations of its drug policy. Milwaukee Brewers outfielder Ryan Braun, a former National League Most Valuable Player, will miss the rest of the 2013 season. Now, he's not contesting the suspension, which comes as baseball deals with lower national TV ratings and falling attendance in some markets. Here with his take on whether the multi-billion dollar business of baseball could use some performance enhancement is U.S. Today sports baseball columnist Bob Nightingale from St. Louis. So, Bob, is this news a good development for the baseball, the sport, and the business? I think it's good for the future. It's bad for the immediate impact. I mean, right now, fans are upset. They don't know who's clean, who's dirty. But Major League Baseball is coming out and saying, hey, if you guys cheat, we're going to catch you. So we're going to make this sport completely clean, and you guys can believe in us again. So it may affect right now, but they believe 2014 and beyond, it'll be a better sport and more people will like it. Do you think the business of baseball is sick today, Bob? The business? No, it's down. I mean, the weather hasn't helped. Uh, you know, we've had, what, 32 postponements. We only had 28 all last year. Some of the big market teams, the two New York teams, are down. So, you know, attendance is going to be down there. Uh, certainly the TV ratings are going to be way down. I think the TV ratings for the Yankees are down 40% just with the uh, team struggling and losing all the star power. But the sport's still very healthy. It's going to be uh, $8.5 billion this year in revenue, which would be an all-time high. But, you know, if you look at this whole incident as sort of crisis management, what does uh, the MLB have to do to restore trust and, re and restore credibility to the sport? You know, I think in this case they're saying, hey, we're going after the biggest stars here. We're not just going after these uh, small fries or guys you never heard of. You're talking about Ryan Braun. He lives in, he plays for Milwaukee Brewers, which is in Commissioner Bud Selig's hometown. He was supposed to be the next Derek Jeter. You know, a uh, wonderful role of talent, uh, good-looking guy, well-spoken. He's one of the last guys they want to catch. So what baseball is saying, if we can take him down, we'll take, we're willing to take down anybody for the good of the game. You know, you got Braun, a former MVP, A-Rod, a former MVP, and tied to uh, these uh, performance-enhancing drugs uh, through the Biogenesis Group. Melky Cabrera, who was the leading contender for the MVP last year, took a suspension uh, for the Giants. Bartolo Colon, one of this year's contenders uh, for the Cy Young, all at one time or another tied or linked to these, to these things. They've got guaranteed contracts. Is the only way, Bob, to clean up the sport to make those contracts not guaranteed if you cheat, if you use PEDs, you lose the money. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see if that comes up in the uh, next labor agreement, Tyler, as far as uh, that clause. Because right now, I think the union would go ahead and say, you can do that, but you've got to make sure it's intentional cheating and not accidental. So in the case of Ryan Braun here, he only loses $3.4 million in salary this year, but he still has $127 million coming. I guarantee that if the Brewers could get this contract, they would do so. Same with the Yankees, who still owe uh, Alex Rodriguez another $98 million. What do you mean by accidental cheating, Bob, quickly? Well, let's say you take something from a uh, store and you realize it was tainted. You know, you ran some cases with, um, you know, GNC product years mm -hmm. ago where people thought, okay, I didn't know I was, uh, that stuff was tainted. So something like that, instead of intentionally going to like a biogenesis clinic and uh, deliberately cheating. All right. We're going to be talking about this for quite a while, I'm sure. This season's not over yet. Thank you so much, Bob. Bob Nightingale of USA Today Sports.